Levra Ubadish. As I see you in the realm of the spirit, I have a vision of the Lord. And in the vision of the Lord, I see you and you appear before me and your mind is highlighted. And the spirit of God shows me your mind. And the spirit of God tells me, he says, that which I need to do with her right now is I need a mental barrier to be destroyed. He said, in spite of the fact that I have showed her who she is and what belongs to her, her mind has not fully embraced it. And he said, I am going to destroy that barrier in her by the renewing of her mind. Are you hearing me, Julia? So, in the realm of the spirit, what I'm seeing is because I'm seeing a cracked glass. In fact, that's what I'm seeing the Lord dealing with you about. Is that Kotabizasos Livra Abos. In fact, I can tell you how the forces of darkness have been fighting you with this because I see this is right now where you are spiritually that's the number one thing you need to overcome. Okay. And it deals with your identity. Because I see the forces of darkness bringing historical images to your mind. But I speak by the anointing today in the name of Jesus. Just lift up your hands right now. I mean, can I see her? L lift up your hands. Vrahabaras. So in the name of Jesus right now, Mam lift up your hands and I release the anointing of God on you in the mighty name of Jesus for your deliverance from this and there is a renewal of your mind and embracing of who you are in the mighty name of Jesus. There is a renewal of your mind. David said, he restoreth my soul. In the name of Jesus, he has stirred my soul. Amen. Okay, let's move to the next. Hi, how are you? Cut, Moses. Livery is a dish. Cut, Hobashish. Lavrahus. Lavrasus. Let me just finish with Julia. Okay, Julia, lift up your hands. In the mighty name of Jesus, I release grace for the renewing of your mind so that your mind accepts the design of your spirit. In the name of Jesus. That your mind endorses, celebrates the design of your spirit and then your body follows. In the name of Jesus, I decree this by the anointing. And the separation between those two is eliminated by this touch of God. In the name of Jesus, amen. Now, Kabos, Levrahas, wow. Hmm. As I stand before you, the angel of the Lord writes a word out to me. The word is Simon. The word Simone means God has heard. He said, tell her that I brought her into the earth because of someone else's prayer. Are you aware of that? I am. Okay, tell me about it. Um, Make the mic louder. <laughs> um, I had someone spoke to me. Yes. You know, I was told that people, that God speaks to people to you through people. That what? God, he speaks to you through people. Yes. Yes, I received their word. I accepted their invite. Yes. And I'm here today. Okay. Huh. Now, brahas, now. What I'm seeing in the game of the spirit. So, do you know the circumstances of your birth? No. 
Huh? No. Yes. Yes. Well, let me help you. Cut to this. Lahas. From the time you were young, as of Arabs, can I prophesy? So my spirit has been taken into your life. And the angel of the Lord, I'm standing, and the angel of the Lord is speaking to me and showing me sort of you. And I'm seeing in your life a particular dream and daydream that keeps repeating itself. <laughs> it repeats itself. It's about you doing something and you being involved in something. You keep seeing yourself in it. Huh? Huh? Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Okay, what is that? Right now I have my own business and I'm mm. trying to evolve in that and to evolve as a better person. Yes. So what do, do, what do you see yourself doing again from when you were young? You see yourself doing again and again and again. Truthfully, that is returning to church. Truthfully. Well, let me explain why. Because inside of you, there is a ministry inside of you and a business inside of you. The reason for that is because you have an assignment in church. There's an assignment for you in church. Your spirit knows that. So your spirit is drawn to the temple because there's work for you in the temple. So you're not somebody who just comes to church. You're somebody who's called to do work in church. Are you with me? And as you combine that with what you're doing in business, it will grow. Are you with me? So there's an anointing on you for this. And from today, that, but what I am seeing is that in the realm of the spirit, you have not had very, some, you, you've had some bad experiences in church. Yes, I because I'm, I, I'm, I'm just seeing it, because I'm seeing this glass, this ceiling. But let me explain something to you. This is your last. God has a plan for you, and God brought you here, and there's a place for you here. Amen. Are you with me? Yeah. In the name of Jesus? Amen. 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 Because I see in the realm of the Spirit that what you have, God needed it for this generation. And there's something very significant in you. Power of the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Jesus. Lift up your hands and say this. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I surrender to the call. I surrender to the call. I open my ears. I open my ears. To hear the word of the Lord. To hear the word of the Lord. To me. To me. Concerning this assignment. Concerning this assignment. I receive the anointing of it. I receive and the, the activation of, it, of this gift. And the activation of this. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want you to kneel down. I need to activate something in you. Just lift up your hand. In the name of Jesus, I stand as a prophet. And this gift that is in her, in the name of Jesus, that you sent her to this generation with, I activate it in her and the leadership in her. Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. From this day, this gifting in you is activated and the barriers and the hurts in your soul are healed in the mighty name of Jesus. They are healed in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree this by the power of God in the name of Jesus. For when God released you into the earth is because he heard someone's prayer. That means you are a deliverer. And you have, yes, there's an unction in you that is tied to other people's destinies. In the name of Jesus, amen. Okay. And what's your name? My name is Shanice Holder. Shanice Holder. Yes. Okay, good. I'll be seeing more of you. It's good. Very cool. Mambrasudis. Laha tosevresidis. Leverasus. Levra ubahashish. Laharas. As you stand in front of me, in the realm of the spirit, as you stood in front of me, on this side, on this side, I saw in walked with you 
a door, a door. And on the door was an evil spirit. And that is telling me there's an evil spirit that is seeking to come through the door. Have us. See, seeking to come through the door and penetrate into your life. And your spirit perceives it. But this one is not just tied to your house. This one is mobile. Because even when you're here, it's here. It has not conquered you. But it's at the door. It's at the door. And if you want me to tell you what it is, I can tell you that it conquered. This spirit has conquered other family members. Kada Do you understand what I'm talking about? I think so. Huh? I think so. Yeah. Yes. So I've seen that spirit standing at the door. And the spirit of God is telling me, tell her that the anointing that is on her, that's going to be released on her, is the anointing to conquer what your mother could not conquer. Jesus. Do you understand me? Yeah, I this spirit, if you go to Canada, it will follow you. If you go to Zimbabwe, it will follow you. Because it followed you, it's right now it's here. Because you have to conquer it. It's a barrier you have to conquer. And right now, and you can only conquer it by being stronger than it. Now, there's something else that I'm sensing that is happening to you that you're not discerning well. Abra, in the realm of the spirit, I am, I am, I am perceiving a smell, a particular smell. And what I'm perceiving it, there is a particular aroma or, or smell that sometimes comes in and you don't detect it is the presence of that demon. <laughs> you wonder what, what is that thing that I just smelled? And to come with like a whiff and then go. Chicken pens? Sometimes huh? I get like a smell like chicken pens around the area. You have a smell of, you think it's chicken pens? Sometimes I get like a whiff of a whiff, a whiff of a chicken pen. Yeah. Uh -huh. See, I'm so she says she's a whiff of a chicken pen. Well, that whiff of a chicken pen is that demon. Because you are smelling the aroma of the demon. So, so when you smell that, you think, oh, it's a smell. it smells like a chicken pen. But it's a demon. It's the actual demon you're smelling. Wow. Cut up over there. Because as I'm here, I can smell it. And that's what you smell it. But today, strength is going to be given to you to conquer it. What you need to do for you to conquer this, you have to stay connected and grow in the spirit. You have to grow stronger than it. It has not conquered you, but you haven't conquered it. So right now, between you and the spirit is a stalemate. I said, there's what? And there's a stalemate. Now, you say, cast it out. It's not a spirit to cast out because it's not in you. It's a spirit that's just monitoring you. And you have to conquer it. So it's not a spirit I can cast out. Because it is, it's, on, it's just on the door there. Following you everywhere you go. You see that? So you have to conquer it. I, that the type of spirit I cannot cast out. Because you have to grow up and master it. It's why Jesus said, he said, Behold, I give you authority. To do what? To tread on serpents and scorpions. And over all the power of the enemy. And nothing shall my enemies hurt you. So this is a spirit you have to tread on. So there are certain spirits you cast out. The certain spirits you tread on. Oh, okay, this is to next Sunday's message. He said to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. That means you need to walk on top of it. That means you dominate it. 
That means you've mastered it. You understand that? that? Now, why would you have to walk on some things? That's because these are things that are in your family line that you have to tread upon them and walk on them and master them and subdue them. Jesus. Woo. Right now, the anointing and power to subdue this comes upon you now. Jesus, then power of the Holy Ghost. Power of the Holy Ghost. Jesus, the anointing comes on you now in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Release it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Strength comes on you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let's go. Next person. Lavra Hoseris. Mambro Osefe de Beshish. La Horo Sede de Dis. Kukoloma Mazis. Levra Habodis. Leka Hadaboshish. In the realm of the spirit, I'm taken. In the spirit realm, and I can see this. I see a circle. I see a circle. And when I see a circle, I see it's a circle, it's a witchcraft circle. And your name is being chanted in it. Lavrahas. People are holding hands. Devrahas. Levrahabos. Mambo Uzus. Because there are people who you walked with who are into either Santeria or Santa, those things. You, you, you know who I'm talking about? Okay, okay the people that, that involved, that you're involved in. So right now, the power is going to be broken in your life. Because all Satan wants to do is to reduce you and subdue you. But it is destroyed now. In the name of Jesus. So right now, if I be a prophet, that which was planted in you is uprooted from you now. In the mighty name of Jesus. In fact, the Lord just told me, stretch out your hand towards me. Stretch out your hand towards me. That's it. In the name of Jesus right now. Take it. What is your name? What is your name? What is your name? What is your name? Speak what is your name? Who will you speak? That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Shava Harab. Sevra Habadas. Savra. That's it. That's right. In the name of Jesus. Katabose. That's it. Now, brother. Now, what happened there is this spirit, I've tried to cast it out about two times. But I knew in the spirit how I, I saw, I knew how to get it this time. So it knew I caught it. So in the realm of the spirit, he knows something happened just now. So that's why it didn't even, you know, when you never have the, it just, it just left right now. Because there's a revelation that I learned. And this is the power of mentorship. I learned it from my spiritual father. So I, de I decided the next time she comes up, I'm going to practice that one. Now I know how to do it. That's exactly what happened. I, that's exactly what happened. I was waiting for it. A cadaver. That's it. Hey. Jesus. What is your name? 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 Speak! Speak under my feet. 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 
You're under my feet. Speak. Jesus. Let's leave her there. Every spirit is leaving me. Next person. Wow. Bahususis. 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 Interesting. Kotokusisidis. Livra abus. Laharas. Suresh. Hmm. This is to guide you in something. In the realm of the spirit, as you came to me, as you walked towards me, I saw there is, I, I don't know if it's an offer, I don't know if it's a possibility that, has, that one of the possibilities have been presented to you about extra work or work. The Holy Ghost is telling me inside that thing is poison. Are you with me? I'm seeing it in the realm of the Spirit and I'm seeing a catapult that gets pulled back but it kind of hits you back in the face. So the Holy Ghost is telling me, tell her, don't touch it. Am I making sense to you? You are. You are. Absolutely. He said, don't touch it. Because inside of it is poison. And it will come back and hit you in your face. Because there are some things that have not been told you. You don't have all the information. And what you have not been told will come back and bite. And they'll say, well, when you're the lawyer, you're the a legal person. Are you with me? Right? But they have not revealed everything. Are you with me? I am. Huh? You understand? I do. So in the name of Jesus, yes. So right now the prophetic has just protected you. <laughs> prophetic advantage. Just protected her. Save her. The, yeah, but that was a trap. It was a trap. Trap. Next person. Katabosu. Woo! Hmm. Aziz, I need to prophesy to you about some things. Bring me your phone. Make a phone for me. Save the British. Make a phone. Can I do my job? Azava Osisis. Love Ray Bad is this. Do you use this phone for work? Yeah. On this phone, there's somebody that texts and you text to them. Because in the realm of the spirit, the spirit of God wants you to be promoted. But on this phone is an enemy of your promotion. On this phone is a frenemy. Katagos. Levrahas. Because the Spirit of God wants you to be elevated to a higher level. But what you have to understand is don't always form relationships out of need and sometimes your enemies want to be close to you because they're threatened by what you possess and by the favor that is on you. But I'm telling you by the Spirit, do you want me, do you know who they are? Day, but I'm not you have an idea. Sure. Okay. Your idea is correct. Your idea is correct. Are you with me? 
Because you, if you follow the plan of God, your role will be elevated. Amen. And, and you see, some people, because that person, the problem that person has is that they're competitive and they're competitive even to work and to roles and positions. Very competitive. <laughs> Extremely competitive. And they and they and they secretly in their heart compete with you. As that is. So you need to understand that. Because God wants to lift you up in that area of your life. But not only that, there are other areas God wants to lift you up. And then the second thing that is happening is in the realm of your emotions. The Spirit of God wants to fix that. But what I'm going to do with that, I'm going to meet with you. Amen. Okay? Amen. So, arrange for me to see her next week. Okay? Because there's some things need to come into emotional balance. Okay? Because emotionally things are not well. Okay? And I don't need to talk to you as a prophet. I need to talk to you as a father. Okay? Right, concerning those things. Okay, you understand? Good. Amen. God loves you. It's good to see you. And um, there's greatness for you. Let's stand behind them. Jesus, the anointing. Jesus, Jesus. Lift your hands up. That's right. In the name of Jesus. That anointing touches you right now. That anointing touches you right now. That anointing touches you right now. That's right. That's right. Heals, 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 heals you, 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 heals you. Heal every hurt, every pain. Heals, 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 heals you, heals you, heals you, heals you, heals you, Jesus, heals you, heals you, heals you, heals you, heals you. Next person. Shivers. Okay. Sas. Now, here's the, the beauty of what I have to say to you. Two statements the Lord, angel of the Lord has shown me. He's a God of second chances. But the way of a transgressor is hard. I shared something today. I said, there are three types of people. Wise people, fools, and wicked. You're not wicked. You just learn by experience. Are you with me? But it's time to take what you've learned by experience and not have to learn it again. Yes. Come on, Pastor. Prophesy. Because the school of pain, you never want to receive a class in the school of pain. But the Spirit of God tells me you keep resitting class after class in the same school of pain. He said, decide today that this will be the last time you take that class. And grace comes upon you in the name of Jesus for you never to sit that class again. But that you walk in the wisdom of God and you learn from experience and the Spirit of God sets you free. <laughs> Jesus, Paul the Holy Ghost. There's an atmosphere, there's an atmosphere. Cut us. Lovely issues. Hmm. Sometimes to advance, we need to break barriers. 
How many do you have in your family? Your brothers, sisters. Well, it's only me and my sister now. Huh? Only me and my sister now. Yes. Because I'm seeing something in the game of the spirit. Huh. Wow. Okay. You now now do you have a brother? He has died. Six, huh? He died six years ago. Yeah. But your brother made some mistakes in terms of how he navigated things. Because the way he navigated things. If things were navigated properly, the family would have been in a better place. It's what God is showing me. Because when you came, when he stood in front of me, I saw a man, you and him were speaking. But the way he handled things, because, wow, does your family still have assets? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Because I'm seeing the assets that the family has. But the management of the assets have been wrong. You see that? Yeah. Now, who is in charge of those assets now? My sister. Your sister? Yes. Does she have any more wisdom than your, I mean, than your brother? Or she, is she moving at the same speed and the same thinking? She's so strange. I can't, I can't see her. Yes, but I can't see her. No, because she's a strange person. She's a strange person? Yes. Yeah, boy. Yeah. Savares. So, so what I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit, the management of the assets of the family, there is a barrier. Because all of you should be better than you are right now. Correct. Huh? You're correct. That's right. Because when I see you, I see financially should be better. So what needs to happen, a barrier needs to be broken in your family, and, it's, and that barrier, it's a barrier. So whoever is in charge of the assets, it affects. So in the name of Jesus, and your sister can be a bit stubborn, in the name of Jesus, huh? Huh? You are very stubborn, yeah, I sense that. So right now, there's no time or distance in the realm of the spirit. So in the name of Jesus, that spirit of stubbornness in your sister, I cast it out right now and the barrier over your family and the barrier over your assets in the name of Jesus, I destroy because God wants you to be a kingdom financier. Jesus. Father the Holy Ghost. She's a wealthy woman. This woman should be a wealthy woman but the problem is a barrier in her family in the way the family handles its assets you see that so the barrier so she's suffering from a family barrier she's a barrier in the family Jesus next person Haras get a house love the house Sudish Mambro Ushish Sevri Birishish right now what I'm seeing right now Savaras, I'm seeing an angel stand behind you with oil. And the oil is saying, is an oil of breakthrough for you to touch your child with. There, I'm seeing something. See, sometimes you come and God wants to talk about different things. You're coming here, but you have how many grandchildren do you have? No, I, but no. But let me explain. I'm seeing a young person that you have access to. This young person has a special gift. This person is very. God has put them in your life. Mm -hmm. It's why I'm. I'm seeing this person, and God wants you to bring what is inside of them out. And this person will turn and serve you. Jesus. So that your days will not be alone. I'm seeing this person right now. You know what I'm talking about? I think That's so. It. I think so. Yes, yes. So, by the Spirit, you and that, you need to bond with that person because God has put that person in your heart. And you have something, that person. So that your days. You see, God can give a person the love in their heart for you that even your own child doesn't have for you. 
And God can put that in your heart to bond and create something. And that's what I see in the realm of the spirit. And a barrier will be broken. Right now, because that person is a blessing in your life, you're blessing their life. So right now, I see the oil of breakthrough in that. In the name of Jesus. Bring them, I need to bless them. Jesus, Father, the Holy Ghost. Jesus, I need to bless them. You see how different kind of barriers? Huh? You hold a person, and God has already sent somebody to stand with you and be with you. Jesus, God is good. Bless the Lord. Vrachisis. Bromba isteke de hish. Kuvresta vremanadisis. Pirabos. Levrahas. Shish. The angel of God is telling me, ask her if she wants it. <laughs> ask her if she wants it. Ask her if she wants what three generations of women in your family have dropped. Three generations of women in your family have dropped a particular baton. And that is the baton of spiritual leadership. Whereby their voice will be heard. So what I am seeing in the realm of the spirit is I'm seeing this gift in, in your mother's generation. Then I see the gift in your grandmother's generation. Then I see the gift in the great grandmother's generation. And the Holy Ghost is looking in the family line who can take this thing. And when the angel came into your room, the angel came inquiring if you want this gift, if you want this anointing. Now, the reason why you kind of feel a bit odd about it is because it is not just yours. It is something that somebody else should have done. And because it's somebody, something that somebody has given them, because it's somebody that somebody else should have done, that is why you feel the type of responsibility and you feel you have to kind of put yourself into it. And that is what I'm seeing in the realm of the Spirit. But the Holy Ghost is telling me that in each generation, who he appeared to drop the ball and is coming to you and says, will you take it? Jesus. Katabus. Lahas. So what is happening to her, there is a family, there is a family anointing that, that was given, Braha Jesus. Because in the realm of the spirit, I'm seeing a woman, my God, Shahadis, ordained. So the Lord is speaking to me. He says it's a family mantle. It's a mantle that you ordained that has never been fully released in your family line. Lift up your hands and say, Lord Jesus. Not my will, but your will be done. But your will be done, Lord. In the name of Jesus, thank you for the privilege of considering me. Just as David was chosen from among his brothers, Even so, you have sent the prophet with an oil that would distinguish me among the women in the family line. 
that my voice will be used to break demonic strongholds and set the captive free. That's right. Cut us. In the name of Jesus, I align myself to receive this now. Now this is what's going to happen. I remember the day I called prophetess and I lay hands on her and I activated and gifted her. I remember a day I called Dion into my office and I lay hands on her and I said, from this day, prophetic psalmist. From this day when I lay hands on you. This unction that has not found expression in your family shall come through you now. It shall make you very blessed. It shall even change your marriage order. You will need to marry higher for this. If, if your, a major, your life is changing seriously as a result of this. So right now, that which was ordained for you, which God has said, okay, I can trust her with it, in the name of Jesus, it comes upon you now. In the name of Jesus, discover. Jesus, discover. In the name of Jesus, discover. Show whatever it is. My God. There's an atmosphere that destroys every temple. There's an atmosphere. Habahas. I hear the Holy Ghost telling me what you tolerate you cannot change. You need to be more militant. You need to be more militant. You need to fight more and you need to state what you know. Sometimes you have to be prepared to break the peace to have something better. You need to be able to stand on the word. So the Spirit of God is telling me the reason why your spirit is unsettled is because you are settling with what you can change. There's sometimes God knows there's a situation you cannot change and he'll give you peace. But when you can change it, God will trouble your peace. You with me? God will trouble your peace. And your peace has been troubled because you can change this. So the Spirit of God is telling me to tell you you can change this. You can change this. Don't tolerate what you can change. And right now, the Spirit of God is coming upon you to rise up like a lion. Jesus, lioness. Fire the Holy Ghost. And change what can be changed. I don't need to say anything more. Bahasus. Levraus. This is. There's a spirit, two of them, that are seeking to subdue you. Two spirits. The reason why they're seeking to subdue you is that within two years, I see you on TV and I see you traveling and you are operating in the ministry and you're known for a very powerful youth anointing and your leader. What they're seeking to do is to stop that. And the two spirits, one is one that oppresses you and the other Evra Bahosa is a female spirit that I see coming. Both of them. Are you with me? Yeah. There's one that even oppresses you when you're sleeping. True. Huh? True. Okay, and the second one is the female one. Service. Hey. Lahadas. 
So these are now two barriers that you're dealing with. And these two barriers, they're standing in front of you being a nationally known youth minister. You're one of the youth ministers. If you pay the price that I can send to countries yes. because of what is inside of you. Yeah. Because there, a youth move is coming. Hallelujah. And you are one of the leaders in the youth move. Yes. But those two things are barriers that you have to overcome. But right now, if I be a prophet, the fire of God comes upon you to destroy those barriers in the name of Jesus. Right now, I prophesy an impartation of the Spirit of God. Now! Jesus. Cut the house. Jesus. That's right. So did my wife choose you? Ha. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. <laughs> Amen. That is good. Well, right now, cut the house. So you understand that's a barrier. It's a barrier. You understand that? So in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus right now, lift your hands up. Cut the house. Leave us. Last. That which, yes, that which was left in her, that you speak it are coming back to reclaim. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I break your power now. Sick of this. Cut this. I break your power now. In the name of Jesus. Fire the Holy Ghost. Now. Out. Now. Jesus. Out. Out. Jesus. Cut now. Jesus. Out. In the name of Jesus. Out. Out. In the name of Jesus. Out, 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 out, name of Jesus. Out, name of Jesus. Cut a hole of us. But a hole of us. In the name of Jesus, I stand as a prophet and I uproot it out of you. Uproot it out of your system. Uproot it out of the system by fire and by power. I uproot it out of your system by the authority of the Holy Ghost. Uproot it out of the system. And that barrier I smash and I destroy now in the name of Jesus. Lavra Hoboroses. Mam Bropo Hoboroses. La Kato Koroboses. Lavra Hoboro. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Right now. Right, right now. Your entire system has been sanctified. Lava. Right now. Right now. Paul Holos. Right now. Paul Holos. Kata Koroboses. Man the Hadawasa. 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 Man the heart of a side, love Rabba Bahodabashu, man the rekete kerebushu, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, la boso koto korebushu, lev rahizadisa, mambrosis. The plot, I destroy it in Jesus' name. The conspiracy of demons, I destroy it in the name of Jesus. Avrohos, it is shattered by the anointing. 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 And that which you are seeking to protect her from entering, in the name of Jesus, I break the doors for her to enter and for her to access the anointing that needs to be activated in her. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every internal barrier is destroyed. 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 Every internal barrier is destroyed in Jesus' name. Savaho Sadis. Savaro Sadis. Katarus. Ha. Wow. Priest of Ish. In the realm of the spirit, when I look at you, I see written love mistakes. That is, because you love does not mean the person is worthy of your love. So because you love, 
does not mean who you love would return back with love. <laughs> Do you hear me? And so, in your quest to love, you can love what can never love you back. Okay, do you understand that? Yes. And so as a result of that, it's wounded you. Okay? And inside of you, there are scars. And inside of you, there's anger. You understand that? That's because you loved what could not love you back. If you really look at it, if you really want to be humble, and I want you to be humble, it's really not their fault. You loved what could not love you back. You should have discerned it and walked away. So what you need is discernment. You need to, you need to get healed from that. Otherwise, the anger will eat you up inside. You understand that? Because when I look at that, I see that inside of you. And God wants to heal that. So right now, inside of you, there's an emotional barrier. Because inside of you, there's a part of you that was very soft before that's now hardened. Is that true? Yes, yes. yes, it's hardened. And that hardness inside of you is a barrier. So you have a barrier inside of you because of what you went through. Am I helping you? Yes, please. That's it. So, but it was a love mistake. You can feel genuine love for a mistake. It's one of the mysteries of life. <laughs> Amen? Amen? Lift your hands up. Right now, you inhale the healing power of God. <laughs> Bring up for me. Shavahas. That's right. Heal her. <laughs> Heal her. <laughs> Heal her. <laughs> Heal her. Heal her, heal her, heal her, heal her everywhere. Heal her. Heal, 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 heal. Remove the hardness. Heal her. Heal her everywhere she hurts. Everywhere she hurts. Heal her. 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 Heal. 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 Heal the power of God. Bring up again. She's this that's for fine. That's it. Heal her. Heal, 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 my healing power. Shaka Ho Sadis. Woo, Jesus. Mandoro Basis.